So machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence have the ability to uh, create better outcomes for both business and society. We're already seeing a major transformation in many of the industries, uh, whether it be healthcare and medical sciences, financial sector, manufacturing, you, you pretty much name the industry and we are seeing the transformative effects that machine learning and AI are having in those industries. And what's most important is that it's only recently that a perfect storm has started to brew in this field. Um, we've, we have the uh, computing power that is necessary to process large amounts of data and to do analysis on that data, uh, which is now available. There is the ability to, uh, the technology itself has simplified significantly to make it a lot more consumable and applicable. But what is missing from this uh, perfect storm today is sufficient skills and people with skills in machine learning and AI. So the market for machine learning is just tremendous and huge. Uh, there's been many studies on this. And if I look at a recent report by Accenture, it says that AI has the potential to add close to almost one trillion to the Indian economy alone. And if you look at the worldwide outlook, you know, that, you know just multiply that by uh, several uh, factors. So currently, there is a huge shortage of skills in this sector. And given how rapidly this field is uh, maturing and growing, we expand this trend of uh, skills gap to continue for at least the next few years. And based on that, the best advice I can give anyone is to get your proficiency in machine learning and artificial intelligence. So when employers look at a candidate in a machine learning field, there are several key things that they're looking for. One is the statistical and analytical capabilities. Second is having uh, the necessary coding expertise and hacking skills. Third is that you need to be able to take these two things and combine it with the domain expertise. So if it's if you're in healthcare, then you would look for some uh, some skills in that area. And above all is the ability to take all of these and bring them together to tell a uh, a good story. So looking for communication and presentation skills. So this is a very nascent and a niche space. Most companies don't have the right skills in-house, uh, so they need to look outside. And when you look outside, most of the uh, fresh graduates coming out of higher educational institutions are not being taught these skills to become a successful machine learning professional in, in their institutions. Uh, so that is the biggest challenge is finding someone with the right combination of skills uh, to be in, the, in this space. And in fact, you know, we don't see that changing in the short run. Um, and the demand for uh, machine learning professionals and artificial intelligence professionals will continue to grow and outstrip the, the market. So I think this is a very, very rewarding space and we continue to see the shortage of skills to continue for several years to come. So when we look at 
the youngsters entering the workforce. And there's uh, over 15 million of them joining the workforce in India every year. You know, most of them, over 75% of them, are not job ready and do not possess the right skills. So until we have educational institutions training them and imparting these skills and getting them to be job ready, the players in the industry need to step up. And that's why we at IBM and Cognitive Class are very pleased to partner with Emoticus and offering this pro degree in machine learning. Uh, this is, you know, our mission is to help uh, both students and people in the workforce to acquire the skills that are necessary to be successful in this new and exciting profession of machine learning and artificial intelligence.